Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, I'll show you how to clone private repositories on your computer using the SSH method. We will use GitHub in this example, but the same concept applies to GitLab and Bitbucket. To clone a private repository on your computer, you will need to install Git on your computer, then you will create a key pair. Once you create the key pair, you will add the public key of the key pair to your version control too. And once you've done that, you can clone your repository. You will need a GitHub account and a private repository to complete this tutorial. So first, I'll show you how to sign up for a GitHub account and create a private repository if you don't have one. To sign up for a free GitHub account in Google, type GitHub in the search box. Then press enter. Under your Google search results, it is the one that says github.com, select it. And it is going to bring you to the GitHub page. To sign up for a free account, click sign up. And enter your email address. Once you enter your email, click continue. Then create a password for your account. Once you've entered the password for your account, click continue. Then enter a username for your account. Once you've entered your username, click continue. And it is asking us this question. Would you like to receive product updates and announcements via email? If you want to, type Y for yes. And if you don't want to, type N for no. In my case, I'll type N for no and click continue. And down here, it wants you to solve this puzzle problem to verify that you are human. I'll click start puzzle. And the question is pick the spiral galaxy. I'll select this one. And it is asking the same question again. I'll select this one. Once you pass the puzzle test, click create account. A launch code has been sent to the email I provided. So I need to go into my email, get the launch code and enter them here. So I'll go into my email and this is the launch code. I'm going to enter it in here. It is 4149301. Once you enter the launch code, it is going to bring you to this page. And on this page, you can personalize your account. So here we have some questions we can answer or you can skip it. I'm going to answer the question. The first question is how many team members will be working with you? I'll click just me. And the next question is, are you a student or teacher? I'll click student and click continue. On this page, you can specify the specific features you are interested in using, or you can just go all the way down and click continue. And on this page, we are going to choose our account type. We have the free version and we have the GitHub Pro. We are going to use the free version. So I'll scroll all the way down and click continue for free. And there you go. This is how you sign up for a free GitHub account. Moving forward, we will store all the codes for our project in the GitHub account. Now that we have signed up for a free GitHub account, to create a repository, click Create Repository. Then give your repository a name. We'll call this repository Terraform Project. Once you've given the repository a name, we will enter a description for it. Once you've entered the description for your repository, click Private Repository. This means that this repository is not going to be available to the public. This is also the type of repository you will use at work. So in this project, I want to show you how to work with private repository. That way you will be familiar with it. So here, make sure you select private and under initialize repository with, we are going to click add a readme file. And we are also going to click add.ignore. Once you click this add.ignore, we will select the dot ignore for Terraform. Select this drop down, then scroll down. Here, I'm going to scroll down to the T section and look for Terraform. On the T section, select Terraform. When we add .ignore file for Terraform, 
what this means is there are some terraform files that shouldn't be committed into our repository github already knows what those files are so by adding dot ignore for terraform github will automatically ignore the terraform files that shouldn't be committed into our repository once you've added the dot ignore click create repository And there you go, we have successfully created the repository that we will store all of our Terraform projects in. And I am already in that repository. You can see up here, I'm in the Terraform projects repository. And these are the files in that repository right now. The first file we have in this repository is the .ignore file. And the second file is the readme file. If you want to see all the repositories in your account, all you have to do is click on this logo. And all the repositories in your account will show up here. If you want to go into any particular repository, just select it and it will take you into that repository. Now that we have created our GitHub repository, we will clone the repository to our local computer. Cloning means that you are creating an identical copy of your GitHub repository on your local computer. So when you clone a GitHub repository, all the files in the repository are downloaded to your computer to allow you to work with those files easily. To clone a GitHub repository, you must install Git on your computer. To install Git on your computer, go to Google and in Google, type Git in the search box. Once you type Git, press Enter. On your Google search results, under Git and the URL is git-scm.com, click Download. On this page, under Downloads, you can select the link for any operating system you want to download Git to. Since I'm downloading Git to my Windows computer, I'll select Windows. On this page, click this link. Once you click this link, it is going to download the Git executable file to your computer. And you can see it here. I'm going to right click on it and click Show in Folder. And it is going to open the folder the executable file is downloaded to on my computer. Just in case if you don't see this on the lower left end of your computer, the executable file is usually downloaded to your downloads directory. So go to your downloads directory and you should see it there. Once you come to that directory and you see the executable file, double click on it to start the installation process. Then click yes. Then click next. Click next again and click next again. So from here, I'm just going to click next all the way to the end. I'll click next, 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 next. Then here, click install. It is now installing Git on my computer and I'll wait for the installation to be completed. Once Git has been installed on your computer, I'm going to uncheck this and click finish. The next thing we need to do is verify that Git was successfully installed on our computer. I'm going to minimize this. The first way to verify that Git is successfully installed on your computer is click the start menu and type Git in the search box. Once you type Git, you should see the Git bash app here. Click it. And it is going to open this for you. This is one way to verify that Git is successfully installed on your computer. I'm going to close this. Another way to verify that Git is installed on your computer is through the command prompt. So we are going to click the start menu again and type CMD. Once you type CMD, you will see the command prompt here. And if you type CMD and you don't see the command prompt, you can also type command prompt in the search box. Click the command prompt. And in here, to verify that Git is installed, we are going to type git space dash dash version. Once you type git space dash dash version, press enter. If you get an output, that means that Git is installed on your computer. Once you have verified that Git is installed on your computer, the next thing you are going to do is run these commands in the terminal to configure your Git username an email. I will leave these commands in this video's description. And before you run these commands, make sure you replace your first name and your last name here and also enter your email address here. Once you have updated those two information, 
copy these commands and in the terminal paste it there once you paste it press enter and there you go that's all we need to do to configure our git username and email once you have installed git on your computer the next thing you will do is create a key pair to create a key pair on a windows computer first we are going to open powershell click the start menu and type powershell in the search box once you have typed powershell click the windows powershell app and it is going to open powershell to use powershell to create a key pair on your computer you will type this command This is the command you will use to create a key pair on your computer. And the command is ssh keygen. The dash t means type, and the type is rsa, and the dash b means byte, and the byte is 2048. Once you've typed this command, press enter. It is now generating the public and private key. The next question is asking you where you want to save your key pair to. This is the default directory that your key pair will be saved to. And for best practice, it is always good to leave it in this directory. So here, just press enter. The next question is asking you for a passphrase. We are not going to add any passphrase. Press enter. Press enter again. There you go. We have successfully created the key pair. Remember, the key pair is saved in this directory. So if you go into the C user admin dot SSH folder, you should see your key pair in there. Let's open the file explorer on our computer. To verify that our key pair is in that directory i'm going to click the start menu then i'm going to type file explorer so select file explorer here once you have opened the file explorer we will select the c drive then we'll select users and according to our directory the next one is admin but on your computer this might be your name i'll select admin and on that admin, it is saying .ssh. We are going to look for .ssh. It is right here. I'll select it. And there you go. In the .ssh folder, you can see the key pair in there. So anytime you see a part in here, that is just referring to the same part on your computer. If you look, we went to the C drive, C drive. We click users, users, admin, admin, .ssh, .ssh. And in that directory, we have our key pairs in there. This is how you create a key pair on your computer. In the last lecture, you created a key pair. So the next thing you need to do is upload the public key of that key pair into GitHub. Once you've done that, then you will be able to clone your GitHub repository. To upload the public key of our key pair into GitHub, the first thing I want you to do is open the file explorer. Once you've opened the file explorer, Let's go to the location where we saved our key pair. My key pair is on the C drive in the users folder. I'll click admin and I'll click .ssh and my key pair is in here. The key we want to upload to GitHub is the public key and it is the one with the P sign. So the next thing you need to do is right click on it, come down to open with and select notepad. So once you select that, it is going to open that key here and it is a long key. All you have to do is put your cursor at the start, then press Ctrl A to select everything, then right click and copy. Once you have copied the content of your public key, make sure you don't change anything in here because it is an encryption key. The next thing I want you to do is close this file. I'll close it. And I'm going to go back to GitHub. Once you've logged into your GitHub account, we'll select this logo up here. I select settings. Under settings, select SSH and GPG keys. Under SSH keys, select new SSH key. Then give the SSH key a name. I'll call it my public key. Once you've given it a name, in here, we are going to paste that key pair in there. And this is all you need to do. First, you give it a title. And on that key, paste the content of your public key in here. Once you have pasted the content of your public key, click Add SSH key. 
we have successfully uploaded our public SSH key into GitHub. Now that we have uploaded the public key pair into GitHub, we can clone our GitHub repository to our computer. To clone the Terraform Projects repository, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to open the command prompt on our computer. So on your computer, open the command prompt. Once you have opened the command prompt, the next thing you are going to do is change to the directory you want to clone the Terraform Projects repository in. For example, in my case, I want to clone the Terraform Projects repository on my desktop. So I will minimize this just to show you what I mean. This is the desktop on my computer and I want to clone the Terraform Projects repository on my desktop. So once I open the command prompt, the first thing I'm going to do is change to my desktop. To change directory to my desktop, I'm going to type cd space and desktop. This is the command to change to the desktop and I'll press enter. And now you can see I am in the C user admin desktop. I've changed my directory to the desktop, which is where I want to clone the Terraform projects repository to. Once you have changed to the directory you want to clone the GitHub repository to, the next command you are going to type is git clone. So type git clone. Once you type git clone, press space. Then I want you to come back to your GitHub account. On your GitHub account in the home page. To get to your home page, click this logo up here and that will bring you to the home page. Once you are on the home page, the next thing you are going to do is select the repository you want to clone to your computer. This is the repository I want to clone to my computer. I'll select it and that will take you into that repository. In that repository, select code. You can clone a repository using HTTPS, SSH and GitHub CLI. We will be using SSH to clone our repository. Select SSH. Once you have select SSH, click here to copy the address. Then come back to your command prompt. On your command prompt, after git clone, paste that address in there. So this is what it should look like. Git clone and the address of your GitHub repository. So I'm going to minimize this to show you what is happening. So let me move this to the side. I've typed my command git clone and the address of the repository I want to clone. Watch what will happen on my desktop when I press enter. You will notice that the repository in my GitHub account will be cloned to my desktop here. So here I'm going to press enter. It is cloning the repository. The first time you clone a repository, it is going to ask you this question. I'm going to type yes and press enter. There you go. The Terraform Projects repository in my GitHub account has been successfully cloned to my computer. And you can see it here. So if I double click on this folder to open it, in that folder, you see I have .ignore and a readme file. And if we go to our GitHub account, in the GitHub account, in the Terraform projects repository, we also have a .ignore and readme. So this is how cloning a repository works. We created a copy of this repository and all the contents in that repository to our local computer. And that is what you are seeing here. Now what we can do is edit any of this file. And once we make changes to this file, we can push those changes back to our GitHub repository. As we move forward in this project, we are going to see that. This is how you clone a GitHub repository to your computer. If you have any question or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.